Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. Guthrie Corning Hospital has been recognized as one of the country's best hospitals for patient safety. The recognition is from the Women's Choice Award. That's a national organization that recognizes hospitals for excellence in patient safety and customer service. Next month will mark the three year anniversary of the Guthrie Corning Hospital being in the new facility. Ithaca police are asking for your help to find a man who held up a bank this morning. Police responded to the Tompkins Employees Federal Credit Union around 830 in the morning. Witnesses told them the suspect entered the bank and pointed a gun at several employees before ordering a teller to hand over money. After the teller gave him the cash, the suspect ran away. The suspect was described as a black male who's 5 foot 10 with a medium build. During the robbery, he was wearing a white t-shirt and dark pants along with a mask covering his face. Democrats are fighting back today. Governor Andrew Cuomo and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi joining forces at the New York Fights Back rally in Manhattan. The goal is to help Democrats regain control of the House. Some Democrats say the Republican controlled House is pushing an agenda that's hurting rather than helping the American people. Today I charge Congressman Faso and, Coll and Collins and their colleagues with violating their oath of office to represent the interest of the people of the state of New York. I also charge them with defrauding the voters of this state. They said they would help their districts. They said they would help the struggling middle class. They're doing the exact opposite. Actors Steve Buscemi and John Leguizamo also there at the rally. They talked about issues including LGBT rights, funding for the arts, and sanctuary cities. Well, rain and cooler temperatures lingering in the area today. Meteorologist Kim Walker will tell us if and when we can expect any improvements in your Big Fox forecast next. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. We did see a few showers move through our area. We're going to continue with the chance for rain tonight and early tomorrow, but then I think that will give way to a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon, but temperatures will be a little bit cooler. We could have a few isolated showers and temperatures will actually be a little bit warmer on your Thursday. And then by Friday, though, we're going to see a little bit more sunshine and we finally will start warming up. Today, our high was 69 degrees, a little bit cooler than yesterday. 63 in Watkins Glen, 62 in Bath, 64 in Corning in Ithaca it was 63 degrees and a cool 60 degrees in Binghamton. So this low pressure system that's been hanging around our region will continue to just uh, hang out there, just stall out. And so we're going to see uh, most of the rain just to our south. High pressure will build in from the north, and so it will bring north winds into our area. So that's a drying wind. And it's also a cooler wind, and so temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit cooler than today. And then we have another system that will ride along the Atlantic and uh, along the coastal regions, and that could bring the rain back into our area. So a little bit more moisture going around this area of low pressure. So there could be a little bit more rain for your Thursday night into your Friday. But here's a look at your forecast tonight. We dip down to around 49 degrees, occasional rain and drizzle tomorrow. Temperatures will climb up to around 61 degrees, a few degrees cooler than today. I think those showers will be ending in the morning hours and then those clouds will start to decrease. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. More chances of rain, especially in the afternoon on Thursday. Highs will be around 69 degrees and then finally we'll be in the 70s by Friday with some sunshine. An isolated shower or a thunderstorm could be possible for your Saturday. But despite that, we'll climb up to around 77 degrees, 79, very comfortable by the end of the weekend, mostly cloudy conditions. And then on Monday, we bump it up to around 87 degrees for your Monday. And then by Tuesday, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, maybe an afternoon thunderstorm or two, but temperatures 
will be around 92 degrees, so very unseasonably warm for this time of year. Our normal temperatures are in the 70s, but yeah. we're going to be well above that. About 20 degrees above it, it sounds yeah. like. Wow. Okay, thanks, Kim. A rare event at a California ranch. A horse gave birth to twins. Even more amazing is that both survived, and that's a rarity in the species. The twins are a boy and a girl, and they've been named Will and Grace. Their breeder says they're not named after the popular TV show, but rather a testament, a testament to their personalities, their will to live, and their grace as horses. Vets will be watching the twins closely to make sure they're developing properly. They are adorable, and way to go, they Mom, are. too. I mean, a horse is not a small animal to carry, and you'd right. row. <laughs> carry and she two carried of them. two of them to full term. <laughs> Very good job there. Thanks so much for joining us on Big Fox News tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening.